years ago, um, we first started uh, playing like bigger shows and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's 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 hard coming up and, and breaking guitars a lot. So we would pull our money together and be like, all right, we made seventy five dollars on merch, and we all need instruments. So like <laughs> this week, you'll get an instrument. And like Epiphone was was always the the kind of guitar that we could afford, but would also you know stand up on the road. And um, so years after you know playing and stuff like that, we were approached by a wonderful woman, Kara. From, uh, from Epiphone and she was like, you know, I'd like to help you guys out. I know you guys need some guitars and stuff. And uh, I was playing uh, their Les Paul Elitas series and uh, they're great guitars, but they were super heavy, you know? So like, uh, uh, she, she came to me and was like, you know, would you ever want to consider maybe making your own guitar? And uh, I thought about it and I was like, yeah, why not? You know, that'd be, that'd be a really great uh, challenge. So um, I tried out the, the old Wilshire and uh, I stole the body from that, but then I replaced the uh, the neck and headstock and the pickups from their uh, their Les Paul Elitist, and I uh, made a couple other little tweaks. Uh, they has a tonomatic switch and uh, a kill switch here. It's really super light and it's it's got a hell of a tone. Basically, it's it's my own little hybrid, and we call it the Phantomatic. Currently, for uh, for my main tone, it is uh, an orange Thunderbird, 200 watt. Uh, which I overdrive with uh, a blues driver, just a boss blues driver. So that's like the main distorted tone. And, uh, and for, my, for my clean tones, I use a Vox AC30, which I don't know if you can really beat that. You know? But uh, as far as like specialty tones here and there, uh, I, I guess my secret weapon is the Swollen Pickle. That pedal just slays. It's, it's crazy what that pedal can do. And I stay true to the old uh, Boss TU2 tuners. I don't like anything else. So it depends, you know, from song to song, it, it varies. Uh, sometimes, you know, you'll, you'll come up with a, with a song idea and you already have everything kind of planned out, you know, like how you want to hear it. Um, but the, the fun part of, of being in a band is, is hearing how others interpret, you know, your ideas. You know, and, and, that, and that's really the, the great part about it, especially being in this band because uh, I feel like we all kind of look to each other as, as not only creative equals, but, uh, but as inspiration, you know. So when I come up with, a, with a, an arrangement or something like that, I kind of just, you know, let them do what they want to do. And if I have suggestions that they may not, maybe not have thought of, uh, then we'll bring those up. But other than that, I mean, it it's sometimes turns out even better than what you had in your head when, when the rest of the guys work on it. And it's really fun to... Uh, to get into a small studio and kind of just all right, play like all right, say the song is gonna go just like a you know something like that, and then have Gerard kind of he'll sing gibberish kind of in a in a in a melody, and then I really like to work uh, with those those vocal melodies that he comes up with and kind of support those melodies. So that's that's my my favorite thing to really do. I never liked when uh, when a band has been around for say like 10, 15 years and, and you, say you, you took selections of their career and, and you couldn't place it. You know, that, that to me isn't, uh, isn't my favorite kind of a band. You know, I, I like to know like, all right, this was from the beginning, this was from the middle, like this is the progression basically. Like the band needs to change a little bit. And, uh, and just as artists, you know, we, we feel like uh, we need, to, we need to, to move on, we need to progress and we need to reach that next level constantly. So uh, in order to do that, we kind of have to forget what we did in the past and, and you know, kind of take maybe a cornerstone and, and build off of that. So the new stuff is, uh, is drastically different than, than the last record. Uh, what it's going to be, I would be hard pressed to tell you because it's going to change by the time the record comes out. You know, it's, it's one of those things where uh, while working on it, it's, it's different from the last record and then when we actually finish the record and make it, it's different from what we worked on. You know, we're, we're, we're constantly uh, evolving, I guess. For this this last record, for instance, you know, it was like forget what you know, uh, put down the instrument that you're you're comfortable with, and and approach uh, different things that you you maybe don't even you, you've never played before. Uh, what would it be like if you know if if you weren't a guitar player, if you were you were stuck with this keyboard that you didn't have the manual for, you know, kind of thing, uh, or or even you know pick your guitar back up, but it, but approach it as if it were a percussive instrument. Uh, you know, just take different approaches to, to things. And, uh, and you, you want to capture that immediacy, that, that innocence that you might have lost along the way from, uh, from maybe overanalyzing your instrument. Yes,